Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a look at the equipment used for graphical communication. So let's start with the most basic, which is the pencil. Pencils are graded by hardness. So for instance, an HB pencil will draw a medium dark line, while an H pencil will draw a lighter line, and a 2H pencil will draw an even lighter line. On the other hand of the scale, there are the B pencils. So a B pencil will draw a darker line, and a 2B pencil will draw an even darker line, and so on and so forth. The pencils used for graphical communication are usually 2H pencils, but your teacher may ask for something else. Pencils can also be the traditional type, so like a wooden pencil, or the mechanical type. If you go for traditional pencils, you also need a sharpener, and if you go for a mechanical pencil, you have to make sure that the lead is half a millimeter thick, and also that it is the correct hardness. We also need an eraser to rub off mistakes. It has to be clean and with no fancy stuff. Remember, do not write on your eraser. Paper has to be A3 size. It doesn't have to be any specific kind of paper, so a drawing book can be good, and even cartridge paper can be good, as long as the size is A3. Sometimes we do exercises on A4 paper just to be able to print them out of our printer at home. We need a ruler and a protractor. We also need a compass, it has to be a sturdy one, and it has to open 160 mm from tip to tip, because we will be drawing some large arcs. We will also draw smaller arcs, so we need a circle template. Any circle template will do, as long as you have the dimensions of the circles that you are drawing that are marked clearly. And finally, we have the graphical communication board, or a drawing board, all kinds of boards are good, both wooden and plastic can be used, although most people those days use plastic ones. Just make sure that it has a sliding ruler and a drafting head. If you are using a wooden board, you also need a pair of set squares. Those are optional if you are using a plastic board, but they are highly recommended. That is all for this video, thanks for watching and good luck with your drawing.